NXP's online antenna designer for printed circuit boards helps engineers to quickly design an antenna that is customized to NXP's RFID tag IC. First, I select the tag IC that meets my requirements. I need a chip that supports I2C communications. The part number is shown here. A description of the IC is shown on the right. Press Next to continue the design. I can now specify the geographic region of operation which determines the frequency at which the antenna will be matched to the IC. The available space for the antenna design is shown at 25 millimeters by 10 millimeters. I will leave it at the default value. The PCB top layer type can be either power ground or signal. I will leave it as power ground. That means the top layer is predominantly copper and the tool will propose a slot antenna topology. The antenna topology and corresponding parameters are now shown. This is a slot antenna with the tag IC attached at the edge of the PCB. Multiple parameters are available to optimize the antenna performance. These are shown here. The slot width and slot spacing are selected for use in the optimization. The definition of parameters for this antenna topology can be seen here. Pressing the Optimize button starts the optimization of the read distance. The optimization may take several seconds or up to a minute, depending on the number of parameters used for the optimization. The intended performance after optimization is shown here. The red curve is read distance. The yellow curve is the return loss of the antenna seen by the tag IC. The displayed read distance is currently being sampled in the minus Y direction. The sample direction can be changed here. Notice how the scale for the read distance changes when the direction is changed. Next, I will look at the additional parameters of printed circuit board size, the location of the antenna on the board, and the variation of PCB material properties. I'll change the total PCB width to 65 millimeters, the height to 25 millimeters, I can offset the antenna to the right and change the dielectric constant of the printed circuit board material and also modify the loss tangent to match the value of my printed circuit board. Previous optimization only allowed a limited number of degrees of freedom. We can now see how changing additional parameters modifies antenna performance. If you haven't registered yet, you'll have to do so before launching the full wave 3D electromagnetic simulation. Registration is free and allows you to save your work or share the antenna design with others. Logging in, you can launch the full wave electromagnetic simulation in CST Microwave Studio. In this case, the antenna simulation will take about 8 minutes. Note that the entire computational burden is on the server. No local resources are used for the simulation. When the simulation is completed, the validated antenna performance will be displayed and compared with the original estimated performance. The difference can be mainly attributed to the modification of the parameters that we made on the previous page. Here are the dashed curves, blue for the read distance and green for the return loss. The angular distance can be shown in this dynamic display. With an HTML5 compatible browser, I can rotate using the left mouse button, zoom in and out using the center mouse wheel, and pan back and forth using the right mouse button. The orientation of the antenna and PCB is shown in the upper left corner of the window. The maximum read distance is pointing down toward the edge where the RFID tag chip is mounted. The near fields resulting from the Microwave Studio simulation can be seen here. Both the electric and magnetic field magnitude are shown. I can view a summary of my design, including the original estimated performance. I can add notes, view near field data, and view the read distance versus angle. I can even print a summary. On the download page, I have access to a DXF file with the antenna layout, including mounting pads for soldering the IC. I can download a summary in PDF or Excel format, and I can even download the CST Microwave Studio project to continue working on my design locally. This concludes the demonstration of the antenna designer for RFID tag ICs. 
please feel free to provide feedback or ask a question using the buttons in the upper right corner.